Sylvia and I had been overseas and we had travelled around looking at galleries and museums and so forth. And uh, when we came back, we sort of came to the conclusion that we'd like to become more involved with the arts. So we opened a print gallery in Ackland Street, St Kilda. Through uh, Geoffrey Macon, he introduced us to David Rankin. We met a number of artists that were printing with Port Jackson Press. There was Lloyd Rees, uh, Brett Whiteley, John Olson, John Firth Smith. A lot of these people became close friends because some of them needed a bit of support, others needed you know, some sort of financial advice and so forth. The work that John Olson has um, that we uh, have included in the sale is uh, the Rabbit Warren at uh, Rydal. And uh, I recall we'd, we had gone there and um, stayed the night at his place and we were reading and, and he sort of, when we finished dinner, he said, oh, let's read some poetry. And, you know, he picked up a book by Keats and he started reading poetry. And I remember saying to Sylvia, this is the first time I've read poetry since I was in fifth grade, when I was forced to read poetry. And it sounds absolutely wonderful now. <laughs> Gary Shedd was another uh, person who was one of the most humble artists that I've come across. He felt embarrassed at the first time when he had a great success with his D.H. Lawrence uh, uh, paintings. The lovers, the, the two women lovers, um, I have had this painting over our bed for 20 odd years. I particularly love it. I like the, uh, the subject matter, it's interesting. Uh, and Charles Blackman had a, a great affinity with women. As you said, you sometimes cannot fully explain why you like something, but it speaks to me. And also, that little black cat on the bottom, he was, Charles was, he was very fond of cats, and somehow I think that that's him watching those two women. You see, I, I think that our practice has been different from, the, uh, or from other collectors, in as much that we are not limited to uh, looking for portraiture or, or uh, landscapes and so forth. We sort of have encompass and uh, I think um, Sasha Grishin sort of made the comment that this sort of uh, represents a section of time in the art world. Well, it's always a little sad to see, you know, favourite works go, but you can't keep holding on to, to all of them. Eventually, you have to make room for new works, for younger artists, and the walls get very full. You have to have room to renew your collection. And that's what I think Tom and I are going to do.